explains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you hello, worked hello, hard hello. for it. You took care of it, and, and it we took are care of you. Your friends, loud and maybe clear. that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with hello? you, hello? For you to hello? make sure hello? it was hello? a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great hello? rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing hello, in everything hello, hello, from finding hello, the right hello, drill hello. bit to building your dream home. Hello. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They hello, offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large hello. inventory of rental items, quality hello. Pittsburgh paint, hello. and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. At American Family Insurance, we help protect what you've achieved so you can fearlessly go after your dreams. For auto, home, business, and life, contact us today. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance, Life Mutual Standard of Ohio, Wisconsin Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin, 53783. Agrimax and West River Ag have been in the winter area for a combined total of nine years. We offer top-of-the-line services and inputs such as chemical, seed, fertilizer application, spraying, and agronomy services with a certified crop advisor on staff. We are a full-service business that is locally owned and operated. We'd like to extend a special welcome to our guest, the Wildcats from Pimble Wildlife Baseball. I'm going to remind you that high school and to our athletic soccer and educational medicine the officials for tonight's game are Rick and Tara, Bill Schoenfish, and Terry Schoenfish. And now for the starting lineup for the Wild Bats. 5 4 Junior, number 10, Summer Soda. 5 4 Senior, number 13, Madison Meyer. 5 9 Senior, number 15,
And here we are with some cowgirl basketball. It is the uh, Kimball White Lake Wildcats. He said it. Against the Cologne Cowgirls. It is my birthday today. We did not catch the whole team singing me happy birthday, but Abraham is officially four years old now. No. Well, he acts like he's four years old. <laughs> Four plus seven. He's 11 years old now. Officially. Getting older, bud. Yeah. <clears throat> Which I guess getting older is a good thing. Yeah. The alternative is not good. We don't have a name sheet up here. We forgot All it. All right. Well, we'll just call them by their numbers. Yeah. It looks like we're about ready for tip-off here. And I know they have names, and I'm sorry, but... We just won't know them. And oh, already. Fast missed. break and a layup missed and layup put back in. That's one way to start. So one of the Cologne starters, number 14, Raylan Kingsley, told me this, uh, this afternoon that she would talk to the basketball team about singing Abraham Happy Birthday. And apparently she did. So, yay. I think the crowd began to sing too. <laughs> and Kimball White Lake brings it down the court here. After Cologne throws it out and a long pass under the basket and missed. And missed again and a rebound by Cologne. There, go, go, go. Gracie Rohde looking, dribbles down, looking, passes it, Raylan Denning with a shot, oh. missed, and looks like Kimball White Lake gets it. Number 20 running down, passes it to number 10, and now back to 20, bobbles the ball, still has it, passes it to 13, then to 10, and then to 15, and runs in. She found a gap, and then she scores. Yeah, we might have to go down in between quarters or something and <coughs> snag a name list here. Well, the thing is, I usually just call them by their numbers. Cause well, true. I don't know enough to memorize them, you know? It is good to be back broadcasting again after a little break. Yep. Now, some of you Kimball White Lake fans might already know us from our volleyball game we played here. I am Abraham Yuri, newly 11 years old, and, and I am Wes Yuri, his dad. A little bit older than I am. I'm a little bit older than 11. I don't always act like it, but no. Don't worry, we don't have to act like that. Looks like. I couldn't see the call on that. It's like a waving <coughs> arms. And I'm still suffering from the same cold I had three weeks ago. So I'm not sure what it is, but it's run through the house pretty quick. <laughs> Raylan Denning to uh, take the pass in, and here we are. Raylan Kingsley Raylan with Kingsley the ball. Looking. Passes it. And Emmy it's Nelson Emmy Nelson. Nelson. I'm and the their ball name. is stolen. Kimball White Lake with several good chances so far early in this game. Looks like that was a body. Yeah. Kimball White Lake to take the ball out. <clears throat> Who was that called on, do you know? It was Cologne. Yeah, but which player is what it was? I don't that? know. Oh, three enough. pointer missed barely, and it's out on Kingsley. No. It's okay. And we see Aaliyah Musser here tonight playing. Last time they, last time we were broadcasting, or she had broken her hand, wasn't able to play. And a jump shot there from the top of the key looked like near the top of the key. And it's a six nothing Kimball White Lake. Lead. Go Aaliyah! Oh, and a foul on Aaliyah. Kimball White Lake gets the ball. That coach getting into it. Mm. 
that coach getting too much into it. <laughs> They're more into it than we are. Well, he has more vested interest than we do. And Aaliyah Mustard bring the ball down the court. And she's still going. And yeah. Aaliyah gets the block that time. She gets two shots. Come Here we go, there. Aaliyah. One. The coach pacing. I would too. Today. Yeah, that's kind of how I do when we coach baseball. I don't pace, but I yell. I'm one of those kind of coaches. <laughs> And Aaliyah misses her first shot, and here comes her second one with 4.49 left on the clock. And there's a the shot. And oh, it misses, I thought that was going in. It is Kimball White Lake ball. Long pass. And that and was a like up right a there. Oh, the, yeah. That was a good play, but didn't get the basket, but a good play anyway. Leah at half court here. Needs some help. Double dribble right there. Oh. Uh. It happens. And Kimball White Lake leads six to nothing. I mean, it's not Four bad. minutes, twenty seconds left. Oh, we got plenty of time. And a three-point shot. No. It was barely missed. And, and basket go. in that time. Eight to nothing. Come on, Clone. And a timeout called. And we should get some ads running in here. Yep. I'll go run down and get the papers, and we will be back in a little bit. We look forward to continuing service to the ag community. It cannot wait to help you with all your agricultural needs. Agrimax, shaping the future of ag. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us. Yeah, short time out there. We are back with Leah Musser bringing the ball down the court. They double teamed her immediately and left a cowgirl open at the bottom of the basket. I couldn't tell who that was, but the points come. It's eight to two. And Kimball White Lake with an open player under the basket as well. No play. Should, no play. Uh, no points after that, I should say. A rebound by Raylan Kingsley for the Cowgirls. And Aaliyah brings the ball down again. Whoa, and a pass to Emmy Nelson. It kind of bounces back. And air ball, and Kimball White late gets the ball. Gets the rebound. Pass under the basket. Shot misses. Kimball rebounds again. And a jump shot there. Miss. Nope. Yes, it did. Yes, it was. I can't tell on this screen sometimes whether it goes in or not. But Cologne rebounded the ball. Still 8-2 to two with 2 minutes and 45 seconds left. And a jump shot missed by Leah Musser. And Kimball White Lake rebounds the ball and comes down the court. Oh, wide open three-pointer there. Missed. Rebounded and shot. And it goes in. Ten to two. Come on, cowgirls. Leah Musser bringing the ball down. Puts a shot up and it does not go in. Kimball White Lake with the rebound. Oh, and a blocked shot there. 
And Cologne comes up with a ball and a block called on Kimball White Lake. And it I is Cologne back. ball. Abraham's back. It's 10 to 2. Who made the shot? Um. Heck, I can't remember. I can't remember who made it. We did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I got the paper. Okay. And the ball went out of bounds and Cologne did inbound the ball. Guarded heavily, but good pass by Gracie, Gracie Rohde there. Knocked out by Kimball White Lake. I don't know why I'm getting mixed up on names tonight, too. With the Cowgirls? Yeah. Yeah, me too. We're out of practice. Yeah. The pass comes in over Shalina's head. And Runs from one tower down. to the other. That's right. <coughs> Passes it out. And Emmy here we Nelson, are. Gracie. Long pass to Gracie. Pass is then taken. Uh, was it reach it? What was it? <coughs> a call against a or a call against. Call the. against Kimball White Lake. And Leah Mustard to uh, inbound the ball here. Come on, Gracie's wide open over here. Here we are. Shot by Kingsley and, and goes it's in. Good. Ten to four. Oh, there's a foul right there. Oh. And Kimball should have two shots here. They do have two shots. Number 11 to shoot for Kimball White Lake. Do you know which one fouled them? Oh, uh, no, I don't. And a missed first shot. Still 10 4 with a minute 10 seconds left in this quarter. Come on, Cowgirls. We can call them the Cowgirls now. Yes, we can. Oh, that was a perfect swish right there. 11 to 4. Cowgirls bringing the ball down the court. Come on, Aaliyah. Don't dribble, don't dribble. There we go. <laughs> don't dribble. <laughs> I've got to be reassuring to myself. And Aaliyah! Three-pointer oh. there. Bounced off the rim. It's okay, Aaliyah. You're doing good. And layup and a and a foul, and we have got another shot coming in. The shoot one. Thirteen to four. And one extra shot. <clears throat> and the shot is oh. good. It's fourteen to four. Not the way you want to start out. We have a bad habit of getting down early. It's not really a habit, it just happens. Looking. Gracie oh, passes it in and it's stolen. stolen. And a foul on number 14, Raylan Kingsley. It happens. It it's happens. Okay. The worst position when you're lining up is being way out here. Yeah? Yeah. I hate it. And the first free throw is good for number 20 from Kimball White Lake. And it is 15 to 4. <coughs> One more shot. And rebounded by Raylan Kingsley. Oh, Dad, do you know, like, when, it, when you have two people and when you have one person? What are you when talking you're about? you're lining up. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking. Hey! Oh, yeah. It was Kingsley made the... Yeah. And a missed three-pointer to end the quarter. The Kimball White Lake ends this quarter leading 15-6. to six. And we will take a break. Dakota. 
This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Calling all honey lovers. Dakota Honey in Winter offers some of the purest honey on the market. South Dakota's diverse wildflower population makes for... And we are back. It is 15 to 6. Wildcats in the lead. Ooh, that's a tough angle to film right there. Yeah. And the ball is stolen by Kimball White Lake, and the layup is good. It's 17 to 6. That's not what you want to see as an announcer. No, it is not. Oh, and that that pass is stolen by Kimball White Lake. Foul on the shot. And they shoot two. Two point two uh, free throws here. Number eleven to shoot for Kimball White Lake. And, and a good, good shot. Eighteen to six now. Well, I just started junior high basketball. Yeah, you see some junior high boys basketball. Well, I'll have to be doing the broadcasting and stuff myself. Yeah, I'll be playing. Call me Bear. I'll call you Bear. And Bear double dribbles. And Bear misses his free throws. And Bear shot a half-court shot. Did I make <laughs> it or not? <laughs> What's your uh, current record on making half-court shots, bud? One. <laughs> Don't worry, mine isn't much better. <laughs> and that's, I only made that because I was playing Tristan. So. <laughs> 21 to 6. Emmy Nelson bringing the court, ball down the court here. Ball down the court. Or the court down the ball. Bringing the court down the ball. Pass into Kingsley and it is uh, blocked. Rebound by uh, foul on Shalina Kingsley. Shalina, we don't and, push people. And the Wildcats get the ball. This is. No, I think they had the ball anyway. They had the rebound, didn't they? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Twenty-one to six. Thank you to your viewers who take your time to watch us and only appreciate. And a three-point shot. Is that what that was? Yes, it was. 24 to 6. Oh, it's 24 to 6. My bad. And rebounded by Kimball White Lake. And the whistle was blown. I'm not sure why, but Colombia's up with the travel. ball. Yeah, it could have been. That's what I'm thinking. And Aaliyah Musser crosses half court with the ball. Oh, oh rebound and put the ball up. Oh, it does not go in. That's Cologne basketball, I'm telling you. Kimball White Lake down under the basket, puts it up and misses. Rebounded on, though. Box him out. And the ball is out on Kimball White Lake. And 
and it is cologne ball. I'm do my little hand smack thing. <laughs> you golf clap. <laughs> it's an interesting golf clap. So. What's a golf clap? I'll show it to you right here. Yeah, that's what we do in basketball. There you go. That's what we do in junior high basketball whenever we, they miss. <laughs> Might like tap our hands. If you are younger and watching this from either school, if you come to Chrome in fifth grade, you can play junior high basketball. It's great. Got boys and girls. Practice every day, but it's fun. Yeah, well, it is fun having you away from the house for a few hours every night. Yeah. <laughs> we usually practice till 6.30, but we keep calling it like a, a day. Thank goodness, because I get tired. And a missed pass there. Taken by Kimball White Lake, but they throw the ball away. Yeah! And it is Cologne ball. Cologne pride, yeah! <laughs> and Leah Mustard inbound the ball. Let's see where he goes. To Emmy Nelson, to back, Emmy to back to Leah. Don't double dribble, don't double dribble. Come on, girls. Shot by Aaliyah, misses, and Kimball White Lake rebounds the ball. We need Keegan here to sneak up at behind these girls and knock the ball out. She'd help. And a missed three-pointer, but the rebound and a layup, and it is now 26-6. to six. They lead by 10 baskets. But that's okay. Da, 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 da. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> and shot by Liam Muster misses again. But it is still Cologne Ball out on Kimball White Lake. Yay! <laughs> this annoying cough will not leave me alone. I heard that. Gracie Rohde to inbound the ball here. Raylan Kingsley passes it. Gracie. Come on, Gracie. Oh. No foul? Oh, come on. And a, oh, and a blocked layup. It's a foul. Leah must have stuffed her. Yeah, she did. Good job, Leah. And number 10 to shoot for Kimball White Lake. And it bounces off the rim. Missed first shot. Number 10, um, Summer School Act. Cool, school Zach. Well, their second shot went in. 27 to 6. I butchered these last names. That's all right. It's not all right, though. That's the problem. You can just tell them English is not your first language. Oh, my goodness. And the pass almost stolen by Kimball White Lake. It bounces off a Kimball White Lake player and into the stands. Dad, I think you have something to say in a, a different language. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> I can have a few things to say in different language. We'll say him. So I spent the winter break, uh, the last few days of winter break, um, taking a look at learning Polish for some reason. I'll learn Dutch. And so far, my Polish is quite limited to a few different phrases. What is it? But it sounds pretty cool. 
I know one word. So this Russian. afternoon, I had to send uh, an email to a few of my students. So <laughs> instead of saying good afternoon, everyone, or just everyone, I did it in Polish, which is Dzień dobry, Dzień Ooh, and Annika Musser falls on the floor there. I took a fall like that today. Boy, she we were shuffling, went shuffle passing. You know what that is? Where you go yes. Like, yeah. Yep. And uh, no, we were doing three man weave. And hopefully you know what that is. If you don't, it's a three man weave. It's a three man. Um, we had this kid. He's really good at basketball. I can't exactly say his name. Mm -hmm. Um, he passed it. It hit my foot while I was running. And I tripped. I skid like five feet. Mm -hmm. Didn't feel good. I imagine it didn't. It's like when you first fall on your bike. You're not expecting it and it hurts. Yeah. Speaking of bikes, I got a new bike. Yes, that was one of Abraham's birthday gifts. Got a new bicycle. I needed it. I'm not eating crickets, so if you're crunching, it's not at crickets. It's a, it's M and M's, not crickets. No. Greasy Roadie tying her shoes. And Kimball White Lake brings the ball down. Still 27 6. Bobbles the ball. Pass it to 20. Now looking. Kimball White Lake shoots. And foul called on Cologne. And they're lining it up for like the third time today. Two shots for number 20 here. Oh wait, 27 to 6. Yes. Six. I'm blind. So I have learned Una Hist Cubieto, which is, she is a woman. Oh. Don't tell that to me. And I forget the, he is a man, because man is like a nine letter word but four of them are Z's <laughs> I'm serious it's like Majishko or something like that I, I can't I can never quite remember it it sounds familiar <clears throat> but repetition that's how you learn a language repetition so I figured just about the time I'm ready to retire from teaching I should be able to handle a rudimentary conversation in Polish <laughs> Just that? <laughs> well, what about be like, we'll take a trip to Poland as your retirement vacation, <laughs> and you have to speak for us because we won't know it. Well, I know I got a minor in Spanish in college. A D minor? I, I would, <laughs> and I would estimate my ability to, at about that of a five-year-old or so, which, you know, I studied it for three and a half years. So that makes you, sense, you know. If you went to Spain, could you, like... Function? You, yeah. We could function, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be able to hold any truly decent conversations, you know? Would you, like, be able to, like, say, like, order a meal? Donde esta el baño? I have no clue what that means. <laughs> there is the bathroom. Oh. Yeah, I could, I could handle basic conversation for sure. I could get directions and locate a place to eat. Those sorts of things. But to become truly fluent in a language takes a long time. Yeah. But it is worth it. Oh, the gal is just tripping over Sh Shalina there continually. It's, it's 29 to 6. I do have it down there. <clears throat> the cowgirls with possession. Well, as soon Don't as I say, say that, the ball sure. is stolen. And Kimball White Lake heading down the court again. 
don't say. And a blocked shot by Raylan Kingsley. Wonderful shot. Or wonderful job, I should say. Wonderful job. And hey! shot by Aaliyah Musser goes in. 29 to 8. That's what we needed. 42 seconds left in the half. Kimball White Lake ball. 21 point lead for Kimball White Lake. Again, I thank you for the viewers who will take their time to watch <coughs> us. And a, my goodness, a three-point shot by, uh, who is it? I can't see your number. 44, I think that was. Number 44 for Kimball White Lake. So it is 32 to 8 now. Loamed inbounds the ball. <laughs> I sat down on a stool for a second, stood back up, and it slammed against the floor. Come on, work. girls. And a foul. Is that on Kingsley? I think. 44 is the shooter. I think this is the young lady who made the three-pointer just this, what, 30 seconds ago? I'm going to get a Powerade after this. Yeah? I'm thirsty. 11 and a half seconds left in the, in the half. She is Lindy Kine. What would you say now? Lindy Kine. Lindy she, Kine. How do you spell it? Uh, K-E-I-H-N. Kine. Kine. Or is that an N in there? It's an N. Kind, yeah. I probably butchered your name so bad that you can't recognize it. But sorry, Lindy, but we <laughs> you did get the second shot of the the uh, free throws. Oh, it's and it is 33 to 10 now. As time runs out in the half, it's been an interesting conversation, kid. Yeah. We'll see you in a little bit. White-colored sweet honey that comes straight from the hives to their bottles. Shop online at dakotahoneyco.com for pure local honey, flavored spun honey, beeswax candles, and more. Wholesale products are also available at Dakota Honey, and you can find their products on the shelves of various local spots in the area. Dakota Honey in winter, it's the bee's knees. You've spent years dreaming up your business plan, saving every dollar, searching for the right location, and perfecting your product. Auto Owners insures your small business, because it isn't small to you. Only 36 more to go. That's simple human sense. Ask Miller & Associates in Platte, South Dakota, if Auto Owners makes sense for you. You've spent years. Winter Dental, located at 911 Golden Prairie Drive, is proud to provide Winter and the surrounding area with high quality, high tech, patient centered dentistry. Dr. Brad and the entire staff, including hygienists Michaela Smith and Sierra Hansen, are honored to have the opportunity to serve the good people of Winter and the surrounding area with gentle, compassionate, and high quality dental services. For information on all the services they can provide you or to make an appointment, please call 605 842 1793 or go to winterdentalclinic.com. Elevate Agronomics is now added to Cal Basgro to our seed lineup. Along with brands like LG Seeds, Sakota, and Westbred, we can find the best hybrid to fit your farm. When it comes to your chemicals, we can finance many of your chemical needs for 1.9% while still offering full cash discounts. Elevate is also your precision planting dealer, with a meter stand and an expert on staff to help get your row units and planting equipment ready for this upcoming season. Give us a call or check us out at elevateagronomics.com. Elevate Agronomics, reach new heights. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that's someone special. 
and through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Your grandmother's fine china, those trendy sneakers, your collection of hand-carved duck decoys. Auto Owners protects your home. Because, well, somebody should. That's simple human sense. Ask Miller & Associates in Platte, South Dakota, if auto owners make sense for you. Oh, now you do your job. Core Cares helps individuals stay at home by offering caregiving, nursing, and medical alert systems in over 55 communities in South Dakota. Specializing in tasks like bathing, meal prep, and medication setups, our well-trained staff delivers exceptional care. We invest in our team through customized training and comprehensive benefits. To learn more about job opportunities or services, visit our website at corecares.com. Core Cares, proudly serving our community. Core Cares helps. Schrader Electric and Control, located in Winter, is available for all your electrical service needs. With close to 40 years of experience, Brian and his crew can take care of all your electrical projects, residential or commercial. Schrader Electric works with new construction, remodels, and new additions. Call Brian at 605 840 8913 to get a quote or schedule your next electrical service. Schrader Electric and Control is a proud sponsor of the school's on the Live Ticket Network. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800-KILL-BUGS. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by a Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Meyer Ag is your Bex Hybrids seed dealer located in Winter, South Dakota. Meyer Ag is a family-owned company specializing in seed consulting and zone-based variable rate that services South Central South Dakota. Contact Trace Meyer at 605-842-5458 to learn more about Bex Hybrids and see how Meyer Ag can make every acre count for you. Meyer Ag in Winter, South Dakota is a proud supporter of all youth athletics and activities. We connect people. Have been for a hundred years or so. How we get that done? Well, that won't always be the same. But why we connect people? Not in a million years is that ever going to change. We didn't build the communities that made South Dakota. No. We just brought them together. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. Wow, Bill, you're walking so much better. What did you do? Well, I got so tired of the pain and nearly fell. And one of my friends recommended physical therapy at Winter Physical Therapy. And you know what? My back also stopped hurting. Huh. So how did you get started? My doctor wrote me a referral, but that's not always needed. Turns out you always have a choice where you want to go. So why did you choose Winter Physical Therapy? I love to support our locally owned small businesses. And quite frankly, they give great personalized care. Winter Physical Therapy. Exceptional care. The right nutrition, animal health, and record management is key. 
And we are back, and uh, we're still during halftime here. But we've got an interesting thing going on on the court here. We've got some of the Kimball White Lake fans. Shooting. Shooting. And the Kimball White Lake team back here is alternately cheering. Yeah, you can hear they're cheering them on and groaning when they air ball. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and the fan shoots. Misses. And a big O comes from the... <laughs> Laughs come now. <laughs> the girls seem to have a good time with that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going back to the ads. And we will uh, see you after the... We'll be back in a couple minutes. Yep. Profitable cattle program. That's why you want to work with the people at Farmco, who will take the time to learn your operation and help you grow your business. We are your full-service agriculture provider of feed, seed, animal health, farm, and ranching equipment built on terrific service. Get to know Farmco locally owned and serving you in Chamberlain, Platte, Winter, and east of Kimball at the Paragon. Visit us online at farmcosd.com. Farmco, Farmco. Feeding, feeding your, your future. future. Early seed season is here. Litaw Seed carries Hefty brand corn and beans for their genetics, technology, and treatments. Hefty's corn has been very drought tolerant and an excellent yielding. We also have Enlist and Extendiflex soybeans for your choice in herbicide. With Dynagro, we're at the top of the South Dakota field trials for their sunflowers and milo. And with Millbarn, we're the leader in grass, cover crop, and forages. Call 605-840-4591 for Litaw Seed, your source for corn to cover crops, soybeans to sunflowers, and all forages. That's 605-840-4591. Early the innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. We are here. I accidentally clicked the space bar, but... We've we still got here. about 30 seconds left in halftime, but we're getting ready to play again. It's a 33-10 to 10 game in favor of the Kimball White Lake Wildcats. And I pay attention to hockey, so... And Abraham was checking up on the Calgary Flames during halftime. They are currently playing... The Predators, the Nashville. Nashville Predators. My sister's favorite team. <laughs> it's a rivalry of the Yearies. Yes. It is currently 33-10 to 10 to Kimba White Lake. Doing very good against Clum. And a set of hockey sticks is also a birthday gift for Abraham this year. Yeah. Along with three books and two gifts that are still in transit. Which I guessed one. You think you guessed one. Yeah. I think I have. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And Kimball White Lake with the ball to start off this half. And a shot misses and rebounded by Cologne. And here we are. There we go. We are off to the rip. I am going to be quiet. Here comes, <laughs> here comes the comeback right here. Emmy Nelson dribb dribbling the ball here. Oh, he almost got it stolen away. Almost, almost went back over half court. Almost broke that girl's ankles. <laughs> Those ankles be sore. Don't pass it. Cut to the hoop. Jump shot. Hey! Oh, good shot by Raylan Denning. 33-12. to 12. Here Almost said 33 to 2. Here comes the comeback. Here comes the guy. I told you. 33 to 12. Kimble White Lake ball right now. And, and rebounded by one of the towers there, Raylan Kingsley. It's a good start to the second half here for Cologne. We could nickname the ra two Raylans, Big Raylan and Small Raylan, or Tall Raylan yeah, and <laughs> Tall Raylan and Short Raylan. Would that work? Yeah, but short. <laughs> oh, yeah, we could, we could, we could. The shorts what? I was. 
For some reason, I was thinking you were talking about the two Kingsleys. I think which one's the short one? <laughs> there is no short Kingsley. And a great three-point shot there by Kimball White Lake. 36 to 14. I was about to say the short Kingsley is their younger brother, and he's already taller than me. He's taller than you? <laughs> yeah. Just about as I think he is as tall as he me. still hasn't hit puberty. Yeah, he's 12, me. isn't he? 12, 13. Yeah, he's gonna be huge. Yeah, Bodie's gonna be mad if he hears me. I'm 13, not 12. He still plays on the junior high team, he's yeah. in eighth grade. He's 13 or 14. Yeah, he's gotta be 13 for sure, or 14. <clears throat> he could be 14. And still hasn't hit puberty fully yet. He's kind of tapping it, you know. Well, yeah, he's getting old enough. I mean, he's going to... He hasn't hit a growth spur yet. No. Why are we talking about people's puberty? <laughs> Any way about it. It's not really that. It's his height I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I completely lost track of the game. 36 to 14. And some timeout is called. And we will take a timeout as well. No job is too big or small for the gang at h &O Electric in winter. Whether it's a simple task around the house, remodel, new addition, or new construction, we provide residential, commercial, and industrial heating, cooling, or electrical work in winter and the surrounding area. We handle it all. Call 605-842-1117 for service or more information on your next project, big or small. h &O Electric is your authorized dealer for train heating systems, too. Good luck in today's event. h &O Electric is a proud supporter of all area student athletes and activities on Live Ticket TV. No job is during this Here we are right at the buzzer. I think it was the second warning. Looking. Ooh. Which one's older? Raylan or Shalina? Shalina, she's a senior. Alright, Shalina's tower number one. And tower number one gets it. Emmy, pass oh, it stolen by number 15, pass. and they get two points. Not, Not a good I pass wanted. there. No. Come on, Emmy. And a block called on Kimball White Lake, and Emmy will inbound the ball here. Here we are, Aaliyah, looking, and it's deflected by the wild cat with a K. And tower number two gets it, or also known as Tall Raylan. <laughs> We've got two Raylans on the team, so we got Tall Raylan and Short Raylan. And an open three miss, but a rebound by the Wildcats, and that layup goes in. It's 40 to 14. Not the best score. Not the Come score. Come on, Cowgirls. Shot by Aaliyah. Mm. Misses. Barely. Kimball White Lake running down the court with it. And a layup miss and rebound and a layup there. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> Come on, cowgirls. Oh, they changed the trash in here. <laughs> yeah, I did that a few weeks ago. <laughs> oh, you did. Yeah. And a layup by Kimball White Lake. A foul and the basket. Ow. It hurts to watch. It hurts to watch sometimes, doesn't it? Yeah. And Kimball White Lake, I can't read her number. Number something. Number 11. Number scored the point. Yep, number 11 shot the basket there, 45 to 14. Almost a stolen pass by Kimball White Lake and a layup by Raylan Kingsley. 45 to 16. 
Big Raylan. I was going to nickname him Big Raylan and Small Raylan, but that sounds intrusive. Yeah, tall. <laughs> Freak. <coughs> 48-16. Maybe just keep it Kingsley and Dinning. That's easier to say. Oh, baby! Pass to nobody. Goes out the bleachers. Miscommunication by the cowgirls. The ref was not a player. <laughs> ref is not a player. Who be got the 20? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Oh! oh and Leo almost stole the ball away, knocked it loose, and a long three pointer missed. Saved by a Wildcat player. No, that was a Leah. I think a Leah. No, I don't think it was a Leah knocked it back in, was it? I think it was. Yay! And the ball goes out of bounds and Cologne is able to bring it in. Jimmy Nelson coming down the court. So talking about baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Should be a good year for the Dodgers next year. If you haven't watched, it's my favorite. And a foul on we Leo just Moser. got Otani, then we got Yamamoto, then we got Glass now. Yeah, you guys are set up. And we got um, Margot. Yeah, man, with Margot. the race trade. Yeah, Dodgers set up for a good year next year. Oh, why am I sharing for them? <laughs> <laughs> the missed first shot is forty-eight to sixteen. Number 10 to be shooting, or make your second shot here for the Kimball White Lake Wildcats. This is the question of the day. Which is better, Powerade or Gatorade? If you can, um, if you subscribe, then you can write it in the chat. <laughs> so, if you were subscribed, the question of the day. Which is better, Powerade or Gatorade? Leave your answer in the comments. Don't win anything. Just you don't win anything. It's just, it's just. I want to see your fight against Powerade or Gatorade. <laughs> it looks like Kimball White Lake is subbing in everybody now. If you do that, that will be very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't had one of these, but I think we we will. So if you can, please just leave leave a message. And the ball is stolen by the cowgirls, and they're fighting for it. And it's going to be, uh, I don't know what they called. I don't know. It's like a timeout, but I don't know whose ball it is. I don't know. Hopefully you guys are thinking about your question. <laughs> Riptide Rush Gatorade for me. Grape Powerade. That's my. That's mine. I'm gonna steal some of your Powerade here, boy. Okay. We don't have Gatorade here at the games. You just got Powerade. And that hit the spot. Yeah. I typed in my first answer. Great power aid. <laughs> so here we go. It's Kimball White Lake ball to coming back from the break. Underneath the basket. Looking, shoots, misses. And right into a Kimball White Lake player. Hate to see it. 
but and missed shot and rebounded by Kingsley. <clears throat> and looking, Kingsley passes it to Annika Musser. Oh, that's a tough call. Travel called on Annika. It's tough. All right, Kimball White Lake. Oh, and Kingsley stole the inbound pass, but didn't have time to shoot for the, the buzzer ring. And we are going into the fourth quarter here, 49-16. Yep. yep, and we hope to hear your answers of my question because I want the answers. <laughs> Time of year, the Grossenberg Implement family would like to take this time to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. They'd also like to thank all their loyal customers for their support and remind them they'll be closed all day on Monday, December 25th, Christmas Day, so their employees can celebrate Christmas with family and friends. Again, Merry Christmas from the Grossenberg Implement family to yours. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable... And we are back. It is 49-16 to 16 and it is not no longer the third quarter. It is the fourth Fourth quarter, clone ball. Here we go. Leah Musser passes to Raylan Kingsley, puts it up. It looks like it was deflected. And a shot right there. Shot right there. Foul right there. Two shots for Shalina Kingsley. Come on, Shalina! Remember, if Raylan shoots Kingsley. Kingsley. That's right. Yell it at her. I told her I would. And it's missed. Yeah, it bounces off the rim at first shot. Now it be live. Come on, Shalita. And she sinks the second shot. 49-17. Mm. Oh. Oh, the clock didn't start, so I have to bring the ball back out again. I was wondering, what in the world's going on? Ooh, Aaliyah. Oh! Steal! Jump ball. And it goes to Kimball White Lake. <laughs> and the inbound pass stolen by Raylan Kingsley. Tower number one. Tower number one. No, it's tower number two. Oh. They're both towers. They're the twin towers. Kingsley the younger. <laughs> <laughs> we should have one of these works just themed as fantasy like <laughs> Kingsley the Younger Kingsley, Kingsley the, the elder. Eldest <laughs> Kingsley the Eldest <laughs> well there's just two so it would be the elder oh Bodie the child <laughs> He would be Kingsley, the youngest. Yeah. So you start introducing him, then uh, you got three to put to, to deal with. Mm-hmm. come He's on. Pentagon number one. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Ah, oh, come on. 49-17, number 11 to shoot for Kimball White Lake. Two points, or two shots here. Hopefully not two points. 
No. He drinks this. <laughs> Told you. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Forty nine seventeen. Oh, it's fifty seventeen. Should be fifty. And bounces off the rim, rebounded by Aaliyah Musser there. Proven that Dad did not jinx us. That's right. Come on, Grace. And a oh, oh, oh. And Kimball White Lake with the rebound. And a foul there on Aaliyah Musser. They still haven't changed the score on the scoreboard. It is 50 to 17. Change it. It is 50 to 17, isn't it? It is, yeah. It was 49 17 when number 11 shot her free throws. She made one. And that goes in. It's 52 to 17. And it goes in. 52 to 19. Someone whistled louder than a whistle could ever whistle. <laughs> Two shots again mm. for Kimball White Lake. Oh, looks like number 15 shooting. I don't know. It doesn't matter at this point. Yeah, really, it's a 30 point game. There's made first shot there. Perfect swish. It's 53 to 19, isn't it? Yeah, it is. They've got one more point than we got on the scoreboard. Or we have one more point. No, they do. Well, you have it down as 54 to 19. Yeah, that's what it should be. Mm -hmm. And a spin shot missed there by Colom, and the ball is out. Kimball White Lakes ball. With four minutes and 20 seconds left in the game. <clears throat> Three point shot there. Oh my. She was, a, she was a good foot behind the line there. Jump ball goes to Cologne. Yeah, the scoreboard's one point behind. Yeah. Zoom in on it. Make them shameful. <laughs> no. Looking. Still looking. Passes it to Raylan. Come on, girls. Raylan passes it to four. Oh, and it goes. <laughs> Kimball picks up the ball and layup. Scored. And they changed hey, the scoreboard there. Yes. 56 to 19. Three minutes, 24 seconds left. We and we have a timeout. Contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. Just as you aim to reach new heights on the field or court, Elevate Agronomics is here to help you do the same on your farm. Putting together a solid plan for each customer is the goal at Elevate, so you can win all season long. With a full lineup of field seeds, including corn, soybeans, alfalfa, sorghum, forage, cover crops, wildlife habitat, and more, along with a full line of chemicals and plant health products, Elevate is ready to put your plans into action. Check us out at elevateagronomics.com or stop by the office in winter today. Elevate Agronomics, reach new heights. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered. Here we are. It's 56 to 19 Wildcats in the lead. Quite a few points too. 320 
left on the left in the game here. <clears throat> Not the way we wanted the game to go, but thank you to your viewers who take your time to watch us. Oh yeah. And out on Kimball White Lake, so it is Cologne Ball. Where did I put the cap? <laughs> oh, I found it. See, I used the Powerade caps as hockey pucks. Inside the house. Yeah. Slamming into a box. Over and over again. Yeah, but my team wins, so... <laughs> I mostly don't care. <laughs> And a long three-pointer by Kimball Whitelake misses. Yeah, rebounded by Raylan Kingsley. And Emmy Nelson brings the ball down the court with just about 2.15 left in the game here. Oh, and the ball taken out of Gracie's hands, but out on Kimball Whitelake. Yeah! Cowgirls rule! 56 to 19. Cowgirls spear Wildcats. There you go. <laughs> yeah, rebounded by Kimball White. I have Lake, one question. They are coming down. Yes. I've, um, since when did Cowgirls have spears? I don't know. You tell me. You I don't up. know. <laughs> it's been a long day, hasn't it? And a blocked shot by Shalina Kingsley, and Emmy Nelson comes up with the rebound. Minute and a half left. Travel called on Raylan Denning. Kimball White like to bring the ball down the court. One minute left in the game. I'm tired. Yeah, I can tell. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you need to go to bed is what you need. Yeah. And I need to take a shower. Yes, you do. I've got this long list of things. It's three things. <laughs> I need to do this. I need to do I that. Need to do this, 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 and then afterwards do this. That should be good. Well, take the shower before you go to bed. Don't go to bed and then take a shower. Yeah. I'll be up at 10 o'clock showering. <laughs> you told me I needed to go to bed. 20 seconds left in this game. It is winding down. I think we've got a winner. 10 seconds. We need to score too many points. Oh. And, we and the game ends 56 to 21. Congratulations to the Kimball White Lake Wildcats and their win. And thank you for joining us tonight. Yep. I don't know when our next game is. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm I'm pretty sure it'll be next week though. But, uh, see you guys hopefully on our next live stream. Go Cowgirls.